you know musket? The gun that they use for it, they have a round uh, bullet in it. So this is how they, this is where they manufacture their bullet. So they dump the lead up there, and then they drop it. By the time it hits the sunny portion below this building, it's already done. So that's how they make the, 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 the lead the round. They use that in the musket. So when the Japanese um, businessman bought this place, and he wanted to put up a mall, they tried to retain it and now it's in the museum inside. So this is shut out. It's a very historical place. Right? Melbourne is the center for sports and arts, so that's why they put up these things. And as you can see, all the facade of the buildings are very artistic. That's it. So from here, we're going inside the library. That's the my favorite building here in Melbourne. That's where I study and make research. Let's go. Australia and stayed here for months. And uh, do you know the his famous lines of I shall return? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was staged on the second floor of that building. So it's like a planning and then a war, war room during World War II. And until now, it's the same room that we had centuries ago. Oh, uh, yeah. Decades ago. So before, students are allowed to go inside, but now it's restricted maybe because of the some terrorist threat. This is a very historical site. Here, it was before part also of Victoria Barracks, but now only that small area over there, right? They put up that building, this is part of the road, but since um, they wanted to put up the Shrine of Remembrance on top of the hill, where this is the most highest level ground here in uh, Melbourne that's why they opted to have the road to go around this area but if you go on top later you will have a chance you will see the other part and it's a straight line right let's go symbolizes uh, blood and sacrifice of 22,000 Victorians who fought during World War II. Let's go inside. Kata balik kita tahu.
this building in the 1800s only the rich guys or rich families can come here and have the opportunity to check the goods coming from Europe and England. So all the goods coming from Europe and England were brought here. The rich people come here and then try to check what they want. And then the rejects, they give it to the, or, or, or they sell it to the commoners. Common so this place has been here for like decades already. The most famous family here in Australia, um, which believe they own a lot of businesses. So they are a phil philanthropist uh, family. Philanthropist means uh, giving back what they had the people helping the poor. Yeah. So usually um, they also sponsor uh, free concerts. In the first quarter of this year, it's a very good opportunity for you to go to the Sydney Meyer Music Hall in front of the industry and watch orchestra um, and classic music. Um, here in Melbourne, there's a lot of um, free concerts, museums, and then galleries that you can go and watch. Right? So, this is the second to the last stop. Take the train and then we'll get up at the Queen Victoria Market. Right? Right, so the good news is that this is our last stop, so you're free for the whole afternoon. Okay, you can relax and then on Monday we'll just see you for the real course. And then you need to study. Yeah. yeah. By the way, you're standing here uh, in, 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 in an old cemetery. So around 3,000 dead people are buried here. Okay. Before, um, during the 1800s, only the rich guys um, had the money to transfer the remains of their loved ones to another cemetery built outside the city. But for the poor guys, they just leave their uh, dead family here. So never come here during nighttime alone. Hmm. Okay, anyway, so I'll just show you around and then you can have your own free time. So this way. here is not comfortable to go back to the ITC? Not comfortable? Afraid to go back to the ITC so that they can escort you? Time cut! Please <laughs> <laughs> come back! Right? And I'll answer it uh, on Monday. <laughs> right, so we have souvenir shops there. Um, going back to Flinder Street, just take the station. All the trains going that direction will end up in Flinder Street. Alright, be safe, enjoy. Okay.